So you might be trying to go ahead and figure out how you can connect your particular Android phone to your Mac or MacBook or iMac, whatever you have, in order to transfer files and you know all those other things. Now, the big thing to keep in mind is you will need your Android phone and you will need a USB Type-C charger or whatever charger it is to basically connect to the end of your particular Android and the you know basically into your MacBook. It's a super basic process and it's so easy. The first thing you're going to want to do though is you want to go ahead and make your way over to android.com and you should be able to find the Android file transfer website. So this is basically what it looks like. You can also just type in Android file transfer download and you should be able to come to this website. It's basically you know, owned by Android. And all you're going to want to do is download this particular file. Now when you do that, it's going to come onto the top right here and you should be able to double click on this particular file right here. And you want to drag and drop this particular file right inside of this particular folder right there. So that is the big thing to keep in mind. Well, once you do that, you're pretty much almost done, believe it or not. Now, what you want to do next is you want to go and plug in your particular Android phone into your particular MacBook. So go ahead and grab that USB Type-C USB Type -C cable that I mentioned earlier. Go ahead and grab it, plug it one end to the MacBook, and plug in the other end to your particular Android phone right here. Now, we're not quite done just yet because sometimes our Android phone can give us an issue. What we want to do is you want to swipe down from the top right here and you might see this little option that says like silent or charging with this device via USB-C or whatever. What you want to do is you want to tap on this particular option right here and right here where it says use USB 4, you want to make sure this is selected either for file transfer and on Android Auto because you basically want to do that. So choose file transfer Android Auto and while your thing is plugged in, you then want to go and make your way over and open up this particular Android file transfer option. So open up Android file transfer and you should then see that this particular phone will basically come up right here and you will basically see all the files available for your particular Mac or for your particular Android. So now you can go ahead and basically see if you want to you know, drag and drop files, if you want to do whatever, you should be able to do that right within here and that's basically it. Now you can see for some reason it wasn't working then so you might have to just kind of mess with it again so open it up again. And you should see there it is and you should be able to go ahead and see your downloads file which we can now and that's pretty much how it's done if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button help me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video